Okay. All right. Let's start the VOD. Let's start the VOD. Let's learn something from it. I think this is like first time we're actually VOD reviewing someone from like Immortal. So this might actually learn a lot of people a lot of shit. Okay. All right. Let's see. There's no pistol round, unfortunately, as with Summer said. But let's see. Okay. Second round. You bought no snake bites so far. Small shields. Wait, 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 wait. Did you save small shields? No, you died. So you're perfectly. Okay. First advice, I think, that it's not worth not buying uh, huge shields, heavy shields on on um, second round. If you win the pistol round, like, it's so fucking rough when you get one tapped on the icebox or breeze with a sheriff for 145. It's terrible, you know? I think you did a review on Immortal before on Breeze, no? Oh, did I? Was he Immortal? I can't remember. Anyway, I really think, I know this is like a preference and so on, but I would advise in those rounds to increase the win rate overall by full shields after you win pistol rounds, if you go for a Spectre, and those snake bites as well. But let, maybe you buy it later, maybe you change your mind, we'll see. Alright, so you're doing... You, you don't buy the snake bites. That is 100% mistake, by the way. That is 100% mistake. You should have your snake bites this round. You know? And you had the, you had the cash for it, right? Yeah, you have 1.4k. So it's like, there's no point in saving this, because if, if you lose this round, you're not gonna buy anything anyway next round. Like, what are you gonna do? Marshal small shields and shit? Like, it's gonna be tough. Alright, so you do the the wall that is curved for stairs. Well, he dealt, dealt 150 damage to you anyway. So no difference in this case. But still, like, I don't know, man. You shouldn't also be going first, by the way. Why did they force? What the, what the fuck, dude? I, there's no explanation for this. There's literally no explanation, but here, I feel like if you are a Viper, you're so instrumental to this team, to the team's, like, um, effectiveness, you know? Like, you shouldn't be going first here. You have Neon, you have a Chamber, even the Omen and the fucking Sage should be peeking before you. Specifically also when you have Snake Bites, you know? And, by the way, very good example, here... If you ADS, you probably kill her. Your, your precision will be way higher. This is like over 20 meters. So, if you ADS here, you probably just hit two headshots. But why did that jet force? I have absolutely no idea. Like that... I don't get it. One back to one HP. Nice. Did they all force or only? I think so. Wow. Go, go, go. No, no. What had, had a classic? Yeah. Look, Chamber has a class. Uh, had a classic. XL. The Viper had a classic. Like, what the fuck, dude? No, not all. What mic? Mic arm do you use? I'm using Elgato low profile. Um, Mic arm. I, I'll be honest with you. I think this is the best mic arm I ever had. I know I'm sponsored by Elgato, but believe me when I'm saying this, this is the best one I ever used. So. Nico Sage. Yes. Bonus, bonus. <sighs> Saving. Let's go fast. How how do I explain that? Look, when I'm when I'm playing Viper, right? When I'm playing Viper. And I'm going on, on B side. When the... Uh, fuck me. When the barrier drops, I'm typically actually not doing the wall early. Because the thing is, 
if you do the wall early, it gives a lot of information, right? But you do this wall and you pop it. So, let me show you. When you pop this wall, right? What does it achieve? It only holds this angle. But the thing is, now with this new metagame of this entrance here, I don't think it's worth actually popping this wall here early. Because what you want to do is that you want those players and those fight for pressure. Specifically also when you have a Sova drone. Then you don't want to like pop this wall at all. And then remember that your fuel lasts only 15 seconds. And taking the space on site is like, dude, unranked, those people will not move for 15 seconds. I can tell you that. You know? So don't do this shit. Don't even try to do the wall. Because what you can achieve later on, right? You go, you, you, if you get the early, early like positions here, then you can just do the wall from here. You can even stand behind the box here, you know? Right, let me recall the, the wall. You can even stand behind the wall here and just do this. It doesn't have to be super precise. It can have like some gaps and shit. But then you have like, when you have an idea that your team actually wants to go here, you go. Right? And you have more fuel for actual sight. Because otherwise you're going to run, run without the fuel. And that's terrible. Because then you have to pause while being here. And then you're exposed. Because your wall has no function. You know? And, worst case scenario, right? If your players don't want to go B, then you still have your wall. Right? So, committing to a wall in the, like, first moment, I don't think it's worth it. Unless... Unless you are the lurker player. For example, if I'm going on, on B long, right? With my team, but I know that I'm going to go mid after that. Then, like, before the barrier drops, like three seconds, I do this. I rotate mid. Then I watch the minimum. I'm taking a little bit of space here. I'm probably using the, the smoke from the barrier here, right? It's, uh, it's like this. I pop the smoke, I don't pop the wall so the fuel doesn't deplete faster. I'm taking this space, dropping this down. I'm watching still this angle. I know that my teammates are still probably around here. And once they are close in this spot, before they peek, I activate the wall. And probably the smoke for a moment. So we do this. When they're pushing side, I do a little bit of pressure. I mean, sorry, pressure. I'm lurking into, into the holes. Turning off the smoke as soon as possible. As soon as I cross i drop the smoke so the wall doesn't deplete as fast and i communicate to my teammates that oh wall dropping down soon or something you know and then you're just holding kitchen slowly going depending on what is happening on site you know but that's when you are going mid when you are lurking but when you're going with the team don't commit to the wall Unless you have to. The same applies on A. You don't need to do the wall here if you're going with the, with the team. Don't do this. Like, your team should never also go from here because I know that people are like, oh, I need to do the wall, you know, at the beginning of the round, like this, for example, you know, so we can cross here. Like, activate the wall and we can cross so we don't get shot by the fucking operator. That's a simple thing. You just go here and you drop down here and the operator doesn't see you. That's it. So you don't have to waste your wall for this. So the same goes. If you're certain that you want to commit into A, then you commit to the wall. You do the screens one or do angled one. You know? That's what you want to do. But also when you go into A, what I like to what I like doing right, when I go into A, my first because of the fuel management, right? I would just probably do the default uh, smoke, right? That goes here, because that negates the player playing operator here on site, right? Actually, you need to throw it a little bit further, like this. Then it lands here. It negates the player that is standing on on uh, on the backside. You can also throw it here on default, so you can have more pressure 
coming into a site, but you don't have to pop the wall when it's for screens. Was, was that the lineup that I was doing? Can't remember, man. I think it was more to the right, because there was no gap here. Yeah, but the point is, when it lands here, it's already for default, and it allows you to, like, spam the player that is in server, you know, you can pop flash through this, and so on. Uh, so yeah, and you don't have to pop the wall when you do this, uh, do the smoke. But yeah, let's go back to the vote. Oh, no. Again, you're picking first. No reason. That's your fault. Your omen TP'd. There was no pressure being done. Like... Just wait for other people. Bro, you're fucking running away. Oh my god. Oh my. What, what is going on in those comps, man? This chamber always be here. We should be able to kill him right if we double. Yeah, now let's go. Let's go. I mean, if he ults, I don't pick, but if he don't ult, I will pick. Well, just, just don't think let me do it. Oh, wait, wait, what did you buy? I mean, he always pick it. Okay. This chamber always pick him. We should be able to kill him right if we double Yeah, now let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Your Neon plays Bucky right now. What the fuck is going on? No, wait, he has Vandal. All good. If you ult, just go ahead. What the fuck did I just <laughs> witness? He just got a little chill. I have trouble understanding it. So you need to line up for that. From the barrier, in my opinion. Because you can mess up the smoke. You probably did mess up the smoke and it has a gap on the right side right now. Yeah, there's a small... See? He's a, this guy is a moron, so good for you. But... The smoke is not ideal, right? Now you have no fuel because the, the smoke was too long, you know? Like, see this? You didn't have to get the smoke up for such a long time. Once you're in a safe space, you should turn it off. So it builds up the fuel as soon as possible. But I like the fact that you didn't commit to the wall early, although you did go to lurk, so maybe it was better to commit to the, to the wall early. You, you got the side because of the Omen smoke. So everything that I explained before this round actually applies to this round. Well down, well down. Good comms. One enemy remaining. You bought a gun for someone else, right? Yeah, you should not be dropping, by the way, here. You you should uh, you should tell Omen or Chamber to drop here. You don't have enough cash. If you drop your cash to zero, like this, right? Then you have trouble rebuying utility for the next round if you lose this one. So, don't do this. Like, always think about it this way. If I have 2.9... And I go to zero, and I use utility this round. That means for the next round, I'm not gonna have utility, uh, and I'll have to probably just buy utility and then f fuck myself over for the, for the two rounds in ahead because I'll be playing small shields rifle because of that. Just because of this decision. If you tell Omen or Chamber to drop, then those players will still have cash for the utility on the lower buy, and then they play a full buy, while you would be fucked. Personally, I don't like this wall, but it's not a, it's not a bad wall. But I just don't personally like it because when it's angled for uh, stairs, it leaves a huge gap for um, for for maze, and you can abuse that if you have you pop flashes. Play, but you guys play. don't have pop flashes, you know. The main reason to play this wall is because your team is running flashes like sky and shit. I mean, I don't have to explain this shit, right? Like, 
when you have no Sova, when you have no KO, that don't give you like any information early in the round, you need to always be aware that someone can be in nest. Right? If Sova is using an arrow on standard, then you know if someone is pushing that shit, but otherwise you're not gonna know. So you have to always be ready for that. You won the run, so fortunately someone will drop you, but it would have been fucked. Maybe try to pick the chamber here. Are we doing a vote review? Yes, we are. Let's go shift. Let's go shift. One step. Maybe. Wherever you can wall B for fakes. Okay, okay, okay. How will be? With the chamber. We lost the round, by the way. Oh, you lost it. Oh shit, you guys lost it. Okay. Well, fuck. Yeah. So, that's that's the rescue for you. He has the ult. Fuck me, man. What a tough round. So, you committed to the wall on B as a fake. I'm coming from mid. But they, they essentially countered it because of the. Uh... Okay. I don't know what this chat is doing. You got two easy kills on her. Well played by you. Really well played by you because, because you controlled the mid. And now the motherfucker just... <laughs> oh my god, he just fucking three question marked you. Because he's stupid. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Okay, big mistake. Big mistake. I like the fact that you used the Viper um, snake bite to slow a push. I like that. I like that. But remember that those snake bites have a 5.5 second duration, right? So you can just literally just throw one, wait, hold it, throw second one. You don't have to expose yourself, by the way, right? Because if you expose yourself going here, when the smoke is not up, to like bounce this snake bite like this, you're gonna get fucked. What you can do is you can stand here and just look up and bounce it from for the for the ceiling, you know? Like you can do this in this game, you know, in, in this map as well. So you can do that shit when you don't want to expose yourself, right? But the, your other option, and I would actually, and I would actually, uh, this is a full buy for them, right? If this is a full buy for my opponents, I'm ulting side. There's there's not much. There's not much that you can uh, you can get from the Viper ult on attack because you need to control the site to get value. So if I can get value out of my Viper's ult, I'm using it, you know? And then when you're in the Viper's pit, just play safe and keep your snake bites, right? Behind. Yeah, your your position is your position is absolutely terrible here, right? Look at look at the minimap. Your players are playing off contact of each other. You're the one over peeking right now. And even though, even if you would kill this player, I would tell you that this is not a smart move. Right? So you're literally just over peeking. I feel like your, your play style doesn't fit controllers. You know? Rafter? 120 on chamber rafters. After seeing like those few rounds, but we'll see how it goes. Chamber one shot. One enemy remaining. On your stage? Last is Maybe he's saving. He was here, but could be oh, sprint. What do I think of Mag Brimcomp on Icebox? I was a big fan of Double Controller before Double Controller was even picked in properly. There was... If you guys could, like, watch VCTs... For sure you can find... For sure you can find... Um... Some VODs when I was literally talking about how you don't need uh, like Reyna on this fucking map when the metagame was Reyna on Icebox and I was saying that Brimstone and Omen would have been much better uh, picks than a Reyna on this map or Killjoy, the... you know, just anything that run Reyna and two smokes are actually pretty good on this map and after the Viper nerf, I definitely said on broadcast that it's actually a very solid choice to play double controllers like Omen or Brimstone to have mid control with the secondary one. Sorry, yeah, with, with the non-Viper one. This is a big problem, by the way. 
if the lurker player dies first on mid because now you lost the control and now you lost this you lost the resin sage uh, what's fucked this this guy complains too much all shit happens you miss the first shot and then you repick the an operator i would probably advise not to repeat but i would probably do the same move as you so i would have died as well Is it better to buy Phantom when you have Viper ult so they don't see bullet traces? When you plan on using the ult, yes. Now, the thing is, whenever you, by the way, whenever I have a Viper's ult on my own, I'm buying a shorty. Shorty in the Viper ult is amazing because you're most likely going to one-tap people that also just enter the, the ult because you have minus 30 from, uh, from the DK instantly and then your shorty deals probably like around 120 anyway. So you insta-kill them. But also, your barrel is shorter because it's a shorty. So you don't expose yourself because Phantom has like the suppressor, so you're easily visible more. So you get an advantage on seeing your opponents first. But the thing is, now think about it this way. You had your ult two rounds ago. If you would have ulted on that round when you died, you would have been already building up a next one and making sure that you win the previous one. I would just ask Chamber here to sell armor or one bullet if possible to buy me a gun. Oh, he said he can't can't sell. Okay, but here I would probably ask for a Spectre and buy Shorty and go for the ult on A side. So now. When it comes to executing a side with your ult, pre-nerf Viper, what I was doing is I was doing this typically. So, actually first, wait, 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 fuck me. First the smoke. So I'm going here. This, this is typically what I was doing when I wanted to play in the ult, right? Let's say this is my ult round when I have a, not a lot of cash. So I throw this one here. Then I go here. Drop down, make sure that I don't die so I don't go first, right? My team cleared it. So I'm gonna go do the wall for screen, right? And I angle the wall as well, because when you angle the wall, people can't stand in specific spots. Look, well, when this is angled, they have a problem. If they're standing here, they're being affected by the DK. And they're exposed at the same time. And if they move slightly, they're fully blinded. You know? Or he's fully exposed. So he cannot stand here. And if he stands behind the wall, well, he can always spam it. Right? That's it. But you don't want to, like, incentivize people to stand, like, you know, in the most awkward for you spots. So you either fully blind them or you overexpose them. Right? And now when you're going to push sight, right? I'm going to activate the fucking smoke into the wall. I'm activating the smoke. I go here. Ult like this. Pick up the smoke. Swap to shorty. And now I have to control of this side. Because I gave myself space with this smoke. Right? You can even jump into the smoke first. Let's see. I have the smoke here. Someone clears this for you, right? So I do... I, I go with someone goes here, it's a close this angle. I'm going here. I'm going into my smoke first with the shorty. I don't see anyone. I'm ulting side. Pick up the smoke. Someone else will plant, not me, because if I give the audio cue, I am a target. And I get killed, the ult goes away. And now you have the entire side under control, because if someone is gonna go into rafters, well, you're gonna see his fucking feet. Like, he cannot see you, you can see him. This is a one way for you. You know? And you just play safe. And you just play time. And that's it. And then you can use the wall once you activated the ult as well, because you have full fuel for it, and you can reposition the smoke as well. Really aggressive. 
He gets the DK when, only when you, uh, even when you see his feet? No. But you can, you literally see him, so he's an easy target. I mean, 5v3, do they have a fucking low buy? Oh, uh, fuck. Oh my god, what? What is this? Sure, what the fuck? So, in this case, I don't think I would actually ult. Look at the cash. This is a low buy for them. And they're already two players. If, 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 all, if four of them are... Uh, like, the players with full cash would have not been dead, I would have ulted. But in this situation, in a 5v3 with two players being low buy, and most likely not being able to reclaim the weapons because the players, like, died early, I would probably not ult. And also, look at your ult. Look at your ult. It's not the good ult. It doesn't give the one ways, see? Because you did it from f too far away, so it doesn't cover the entire site. Go further, like I saw, uh, like I told you, like I showed you in the custom. Because now you don't see the one way on, on the feet on rafters, which is so important. Chamber rafters. Your ult doesn't cover sight as much? It doesn't matter. Like, see? He died from the rafters guy. Because he doesn't control it. No way, no way you're actually losing this. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, mute, mute the neon. That's it. But you also, you, you as a viper, threw this round. Because of the bad ult placement, and you playing outside of the ult. There's no way that you should be playing here, like, aggressive here, in this position. You know where the spike is. The spike is for you, right? The spike is for you. Like, there's no way you should be playing in this position. You should be playing, instead, you should be probably playing in front of Jenny. Or like, even corner Jenny, whatever. Just not that position, because if you die, your win condition, which is your Viper ult, dies. Player standing. Both back side. One enemy remaining. Uh, so, from what, from what I see, Sama, you have um, problems with patience. You know, that's what I think it is. Your main problem to perform well, at least in this game, right? But it probably transfers to other games as well, is not having enough patience. Not playing, let's say, more for yourself. Because you try... You're literally kind of like me two years ago, when I tried my best to just help my fucking more running teammates. You know? But you're also like over pushing, expecting people to trade you when you can't be traded. Cut their walls down. There's there's an easy lineup for, for mid, by the way. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. So I'm standing here on mid. And I'm on shift. I'm adjusting the wall of this container with this wall here. Look, when they were gonna align like this, this is aligned, this line, and this line. When it's aligned like this, I'm aiming here. I'm aiming in this spot, throwing the smoke. And this is the... Wait, no, 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 different. I forgot my lineup. Wait, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I fucked it up. How was I doing that? Dude, I don't play the fucking Viper for such a long time. Let me do it again. Ah, this one, right? No, fuck. What was the lineup? Shit. Fuck me. Was it here? Fuck. Yeah, this is what not playing Viper does to you. Let me check. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. Okay. 
Right, let's do it again. I think like this. Dude, I would have to rewatch some of my VODs on the Viper because I really can't remember it. I think it was like this. Fuck me. Because the point is, when you do this smoke... No, this is bad. Jesus Christ, I would have to do rewatch it. What was my lineup here? It was for sure like this. It was for sure alignment the year. And then I think this fucking this fucking spot here. Let me check. Was it here? Let me check. Oh, okay, this might be it. Because the point is. That you peek here, and you have space to fight without being exposed to kitchen. Yeah, that, that's it. So that's, the point is that you have it covered like fully on mid, but once you go outside of the, the smoke here, you can fight this guy without being exposed to this angle. Look. So I'm going out of the smoke. Right, you have, you need to learn like the cross replacement here, and you can fight this person. Right? That is standing on top of site here. Right? Also, one of my... Um, one of my, uh, like, things that I like to do when I'm doing... When I'm playing Viper, is when I have the smoke active... Look what, look what is gonna happen. I'm gonna activate the smoke immediately and pick it up at the same time. This is, like, the best bait. People actually move into this. Look. This is the fastest deactivation of the smoke that you can ever do. And this baits people into going into you. So typically what I do is like when I'm in the smoke, it, it turns off. I have like a, have a position. I'm not saying that this would be a good choice here in this, post, this spot. But I activate the smoke again, right? When I'm in, this, in the zone of it, pick it up. And people are typically are pushing up when someone stands like behind the corner he hears the, the smoke going up and be like, aha, okay, I'm going. And then you get him. So, yeah. Alright, let's go back. Can you repeat the lineup? Just, just rewatch on the VOD, make a clip. No. Oh. Never, ever do this uh, habit of, of knifing here. Look. This gives exact position of you. You made steps, but what if the jet is just stupid and didn't hear them in the beginning or didn't exactly nail them? You just gave 100% position of yourself with the knife. This is a very bad habit. Those people just uh, like to push you. And by the way, see the smoke? Like, it has such a huge gap here, you expose yourself. Right? Can they hear you when you pick it up? No, they can't hear when you pick up the orb. Well, nice shots. You're taking the you're taking the the uh, risky fights because you are on lower buy, which makes more sense that you have a little bit more confidence. You get you get yours too. Can't really do much. Oh my god. Can enemy hear the swing in the air with the knife? Oh uh, no, but if you hit something, we're, then they hear defending, it. Defending comp. That's what I mean. That's Neon got an ace got an ego, so. Neon, it was one round, like it happens, okay? Just chill out. Oh, no, that fucking one wall just this this unit is so fucking toxic. I would probably advise my entire team to mute this guy. You activated the, the smoke, not the wall, which is a good decision. You deactivated it, good decision again. But the, you, you activated this wall for no reason. In my eyes. Because you cannot push. See? Your team is not pushing yet. And you're gonna run out of fuel. You're going first, by the way. 
right? I understand that you want to push and this is a good decision, but your teammates are fucking you over right now. Like, no one is pushing, right? And you're, see? Now when you actually push into sight, you don't have the wall. Allow me to correct you. All swings of the knives can be heard regardless. Really? Are you certain about that? Because I'm almost certain that it's not. But uh, doesn't matter. But just don't swing the fucking knife. You don't have to swing it. Right? That's the point. Don't swing it. You can even hit something by mistake. But this is a very good example of what I explained the entire fucking vote review. This is what it comes to. Your fuel right now is off when you're actually pushing on site. I'm almost certain that allies can hear the swings, but not your opponents. Maybe they have a very, very small range of the of the knife swing. Yeah, right. You can hear. The swing when someone tries to knife you. So there has to be like a very small range of the of the knife okay. swing. Like just few meters. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Oh ho oh, oh. I like the reaction time, but it's so tough to hit that shit. And she didn't see you, right? So if I would be the other Viper, I would have stick it. That's that's not even touched. Now this is the one for you to strike. But you, you took the... Okay, let me explain to you. So, the opponent's player is a moron. He didn't stick even a half. Because the audio cue gives you the full information that is... It's fully undiffused. So the second ping, when he touches the spike, is most likely a half. So you know that he's behind this box. What you can try to do is... that You have two options that are better than what you do is with the wide swing and run here. Because you do it too late, right? Look at look at the timing. Let's let's look at the timing here. 3.5 seconds is the half diffuse. Right? This is the cue. And now you're gonna shift into here, and then you fully run. That's the moment when he already has the full uh, the, the half diffuse. Look. One, two, three. That's the moment when he already like let go, even if he half diffused. So that was the worst timing to push that, right? And the thing is, your op your other options would have been better. When he taps this, you this is the second tap, so he's gonna get the half, right? You spam this, like five bullets, six bullets, right? So you still have some of you, some of them in the clip, and you go back, right? And then you can go up, and push slowly that way because he knows that you're here and you're spamming the box so you can slowly go up and creep up on him upon him right he needs to get the half here right he needs to get the half here the other option would be when he taps this you go on shift here because he needs to get the half so you know that you have 3.5 seconds to creep up on him right without shooting and that would probably be the better decision making here Oh, Jesus Christ. If it comes up on the meme, I have the same as other audio cues? Wait, what? Okay, the hit. What the fuck? I never realized that. Well, see? Chat teaches me something. Swings with a knife have a footsteps audio cue. Well, you know why I don't know this? Because I never fucking swing the knife when I don't have to. Well, you motherfuckers are learning as well as I as I do. Just I just never swing it for no reason at all. So, yeah, I never had this issue. But you can literally see that you give audio cues to your opponents when you do this. Why would you swing anyway? Because people are bad at the game. I'm 
I think this is a good VOD to review, my friend, with Sama, because there's a lot of bad habits, you know, that, that you need to fix or just not play or not play Viper, you know, or not play Viper, not play Brim if you didn't use your like, full, full util. Let's make sure we can buy Axe. We've got bad money. Why? Most of us can't afford. You want to play? Let's play. Smoke is bad. Right? Smoke is bad. Someone from under tube can still control it. And now you have to, like, you would have to swing under tube. Dude, you... You are outplaying the fucking jet so much. These people are just morons. Holy shit. So you play that well, you control the mid very well. Chamber gets the kills. Nice, nice. Three versus one. Your wall is up, you have the ult. Good. Ah, ult! Ult! No, 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 it's not the last round. Scratch, scratch what I'm saying, scratch what I'm saying. I, I, I only wanted it to have like the ult because it's it's a uh, it's the last round. You know that he's mid, you give it the info. You should pop the probably the smoke that moment when you heard the ultimate. So they don't know like what's happening. Imagine, imagine if your smoke is in a good position right now. So people like would have to go through the through the smoke to go under tube, and they would have to go through the DK. That's additional pressure. But you don't have that additional pressure because you you misplace the smoke, right? You're a little bit late on late on this lurk. Yep, exactly. And you're fucked now. Use the molly. You need to use the molly here. But you are late on the lurk. Yeah, it's half, it's fucked. You lurked too late. That was a bad decision. You should have stayed with the team, right? That that is that is the that is the problem. You didn't use the snake bite fast enough. You had actually a chance at stopping the defuse if you would have used the molly when the wall is still up. Like here. You know that they are on. You know that they are on spike. From this moment, you should be throwing the molly in this spot here. So you try to stop them from uh, from from winning this round, right? But in general, when you have look, 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 it's three v one. You should stay here on site. You should never look. Outflank, right? Outflank. Outflanking this makes no sense because you're so far away. You need to go through all of this. To have the outflank, and you still have bad angle for the spike, right? So not worth. But if you stay with the team, worth more. If you want to outflank, you need to run through here, which is bad because it gives out UQ, right? So you need to understand how far away from the explosion you are, because otherwise you're fucked. You're gonna start running as well, right? And when this happens, when this res happens, this is the cue for you. To actually run back to the side because now it's actually losable. It's it's two v two if you leave them, right? You have no function. And if you stay on site, then it's now super easy to nowadays. It's super easy to pay to play post plants without having lineups. You just do this. Ah, not this. This. Right? It lands. You don't you don't need a lineup. That's it. Right? And even if you play like from here, you also don't need the lineup. Right? You just do this. No, maybe not like this, but you try to not expose yourself. Right? You try not to expose yourself. Yellow is really open. Yeah, but you have three players. I'm telling you that in case you know your opponent's position, I'm not saying this that you can do it all the time. I'm just saying that you just can use this, right? But even if you want to really go for postponed lineups, like you can create one from here. Like, I'm not certain what will work because they changed this position, like, before you had this, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. 
No. But they changed a lot. They ch it was here? Fuck. Uh, they, they, it's a different map now. But in general, you don't need lineups, right? So you just do this. And it's good enough. You know? Uh, and yeah. That's about it in this, in this round. Last mid. Yep, that's mid. One orange. I think people forget when attacking on Valorant. As soon as the spike is down, you become defenders? Yes. You change people the objectives. Orange. Not flank, not flank. Take your knife, take your knife, I appear. No one gonna be here. Yeah, you should be running here. Like, like, right now, you should be running. Like, okay. the thing is, the spike is not for you. Even going from that angle is just... It's just not good. It's just not good, you know? Get five rounds, it's, it's good. Okay, start fresh. Uh, buy shorty, by the way. Last round, buy shorty for yourself here, right? You have your ult. Shorty in the ult is fucking amazing. Random question, but do you think Amorant is hot? Okay, start fresh. Is she sexy? Yeah, she is. I'm gonna double smoke like this, so they can't have a sniper spot. Physically. I don't know her personality and shit. You expose yourself because you don't know the lineups, right? You're exposing yourself because you don't know the lineups. Again, go to the same to the same like positions that I did. You can literally, if you really like that wall, right? If you really like that wall that you do at the beginning of the round here, like you do this, right? You do this wall that you like here. Then you can just go here. And do this. Right? If you go forward and you throw it, it just covers the site ne like just randomly, right? This is better than exposing yourself. If you want to do it for the default, just do this. Right? Eh. Has to be from the orb. But you know what I mean, right? Just practice this shit. And if you want to do it for the rafters, Well, and then you do this, right? I think this is actually better than actual rafters. Because people just are like, fucked. They can by accident just go like this and they're fully... Like, they're visible here. When he's standing like this, he's fully visible. Because it's essentially becoming a top one way. You know? Like, they're fucked. People are doing this, this, um, those mistakes a lot. Just work on your on your um, on your smokes without exposing yourself. I'm not really into lineups, should I start learning them? For smokes, yes. <laughs> you know you know what I want to say, right? If you want to ult the site, the smoke here is just so much valuable, right? We we had this lesson already. Look, oh my god, this is such a big mistake. This is something that you cannot do. Look, look at your teammates. No one is looking at this position. You're fully exposed. You're running out because you feel like you need to do the Vipers, Vipers pit because otherwise no one's gonna fucking win the round. Work your time. Work your time, right? And again, the fuel, the ult is not good, by, by the way, again. But look, look how much of a difference, how much small of a difference this is. If you're standing here, Ult is gonna be bad. But if you're standing here and aim here, ult is good. Literally one meter of the difference and different cross placement makes the ult fantastic or pretty bad. Bad ult? Doesn't do anything with rafters and this spot. Good ult. Covers everything. And does the one way for rafters. Such a small difference. Right? And no one, like, you need to really badly, like, you, you are exposed to this. Even if there's a wall activated here, right? Someone can still stand on this shit. Someone can just peek for the wall, kill you here. Like, you can just run in like that. And also, that's why I really like, at the beginning of the round, 
to repo to to just throw my smoke when I have the ult, right? When I have my ult, I like to throw the smoke on this position here from the from the uh from this spot, right? So it lands here and I can go into the smoke with my shorty, clear the smoke here and then ult by doing this. Pick up the orb and now you're like fucking king of this site. Like, you, you are one-tapping everyone who stands here. You have the one way. You're like, fuck me, man. You have everything. Your teammates just need to fucking plant now. Okay? Those snake bites, the first one is okay. The second one is totally unnecessary. Like, you just lost your both snake bites, which is the MVP in the fucking uh, Viper Spit, right? And you probably used them because you felt like, <laughs> that's unlucky. Yeah. But you didn't give info about him. You, you didn't give info about him. I, I understand that it's hectic, but you didn't give info about him. What? what? <laughs> no way, the Dillman is so stupid. No, no way, no way. One enemy remaining. Dude, this this neon, mute this guy. Literally mute this guy. You have a fucking win condition right now on the fucking B side. Eh, sorry, on A side. If the omen just plants safe behind this fucking box, you win. Shut up, let me play. Shut up. There's no way. There's 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 just no. There's just no way. There's just no fucking way, man. This is such a throw. This is such a fucking throw from your teammates, man. It's actually unreal. Now you're separated. The omen is gonna fight. You're gonna get fucked. Oh my god. You have no utility as well. Fuck me, man. This is such a disaster. Just stay alive. Just stay alive. I'm going orange. It was absolutely terribly played. I think it's okay-ish, we got five. Right? Uh, what you can do as a Viper, whenever you have an ult on A side, tell your teammates to plant safe. Plant default, right? Just plant here. Instruct your teammates to do this. Or instruct your Sage to do this wall here and plant here. And by the way, if you ever play Sage... If you ever play Sage... There's a very fucking easy way of doing the wall for yourself. Even, even if there's a fucking smoke, right? Even if there's a fucking smoke here, just stand in this corner here, look. Fuck me. Ah, uh, fuck me. Look into the direction of, of this rope. Click. Wall is perfect. And you can plant in this spot. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to rotate, you don't have to worry about it. You just stand in this corner, look in the direction of the rope, and press left click. So you don't have to do anything. Right? If you play Sage. Just whenever you have the, the ultimate on any side, you need to instruct your teammates to just plant safe in a way that they don't die. So either default or behind the Sage wall. But default here is probably the easiest because then when you play the viper right if you're the viper in the pit and the default planted is here like like this is such an easy kills for you you just play from this position like you can just molly this when they push this when they push right so you delay the push or you just let them go on onto the spike they are super damaged when they go into default unless they jump from the top side but you know that that one snake bite literally ruins them you know? So, in general, my tips to you with Sama is fuel management, positioning. You are pushing too much as a first player with total recklessness of what is going on on the left or right of you. So you die a lot when you shouldn't be dying because you just, you just kind of, I think, trust your teammates to hold angles. But they don't. You know? And then effectiveness of the Viper Spit. 
that is something that you need to remember as well. And your rotational lurks are always mistimed from what I have seen. So you need to think about it. Do I have enough time to stop players from uh, defusing if my teammates died right now? If the answer is no, don't lurk. I'll note it, Lerna, many thanks. Highly appreciate it. I'll probably come back with Breeze attacking side vote, but I can't play a lot. Don't worry about it. But uh, I think you have... You're already immortal, right? So think about it this way. It's actually very good that you're already immortal, and yet you do so many mistakes. Because if, if you're gonna fix those mistakes, you're gonna be a little bit more patient, right? You're gonna skyrocket. You're gonna skyrocket. <laughs> 